Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joe with Lone Wolf Paintball, and today, as part of the Continued Classic Gear series, I'm going to go over my CCI Phantom. Alright guys, jumping right into this, so uh, you guys have seen a lot of the classic gear videos before, uh, it's definitely kind of a fan favorite out there, it's been a minute since we did one, so here we go. Um, as I mentioned, I have my CCI Phantom, I actually acquired this gun, it's an old school gun, I haven't had it that long, probably, probably about a year, one of the local guys I uh, did a little trade with, uh, really couldn't pass it up, love the color scheme, uh, it's got a full custom ammo on it, uh, the gun's a pump gun, so um, just pump it shoot one pump one shoot uh, it does have the auto trigger on the phantom so you can hold down the trigger kind of sit there and pump away on it uh this one's pretty much all decked out uh like i said the phantoms i mean you can see i mean these things are super small slim i mean the whole diameter of the body is just you know the length the width of a barrel so real small lightweight gun but as i mentioned uh the guy i got this from uh, you know, aside from the custom ammo, it's got all the little accessories, uh, air sources. It can run a couple different ways. Right now, it's got the piece on the back. I could screw a tank right in. You know, mount. You know, have pretty much you know endless air as far as a pump gun. You could use a small little 13 cubic inch tank. You could probably use CO2 on it, um, whatnot. So you got that option. Um, so then you got this piece right here. Um, you can you take this out. So it's kind of your main main assembly there, but that's for if you're running the tank. So if I want to switch it up, I put this one in here. And what's that going to run? So with this one, it ends up giving me the option to go and then run it as a uh, regular pump. I think they call that stock glass. Sorry if I'm not using the exact term um, correctly, but I believe that this would. Oh, once you put this on, that I believe completes like the you know quote unquote stock glass. Uh, so like I said, if I just want to run a tank out the back, I use that one. If I want to actually run on a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, um, you know, I'd hook up my piece of macro line. So now my 12 gram CO2 cartridge would get inserted in the bottom, goes in, little pin in there, um, pierces my 12 gram. As soon as I'd clip that in, my air would run into the gun and straight down, so I'm ready to shoot. So, so okay, for, for the, the non-pump enthusiasts, does that mean that front grip wouldn't be there, or does that front grip go over top of the 12 gram? Oh yeah, it slides right over the top of it. The 12 okay. gram, the 12 gram sits in here, a little 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Be right back. Do, 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 do. There it is. So 12 gram, I'm not gonna pierce this one because I don't have um, the macro line in here, but my 12 gram would slide right into there. That would screw in, so as I lock that down, the air would go into the gun. So obviously, you know, it's nice. I mean, if you have a tank on the back, you know, then that way, uh, you know, you don't have to change these as much, but there's certain games, you know, where you have to use just 12 grams, real limited rates of fire, things like that. Um, you know, or you could even, I think you could even take that off and probably run a tank if you wanted. You can unscrew this piece and stick a full tank in there and hold it like that. So you got a couple different options uh, as far as how you're gonna, you know, power this gun with air. And then uh, as far as the feed system, you either set it up where you can put in a straight elbow on top and run a hopper. You know, some guys run smaller hoppers, you can do shorter elbows, or I believe this is what is officially called, you know, stop class. You hook this on to the feed tube up top, and then you just kind of load it with 10, 10 gram tubes. So, um, you know, this, so that would be the real kind of conservative 10 in here. You're running 12 gram CO2s. You got a couple extra 10 round tubes on it. You're popping them sticking them right in that little vent. It's actually, these have been around forever. I mean, this is probably even kind of where the guys came from for the idea of the speed feeds. Same exact concept, little fingers that go inwards, but they don't really go out. You know, this technology has been around forever. So, um, but yeah, and then the other cool thing about this gun is the barrel um, anodized to match. And then the, this was one that was actually freak board out. Uh, so you can slide freak inserts in and out of here. I have the original stock barrel for it too, but this one was machined out. So if you have any freak inserts, Empire, Smart Parts, any of those, those will slide in there so you can accurately size your paint. As far as actually adjusting velocity on these things, uh, the way you would adjust them is it actually goes down the barrel and um, tip of that, there's a little uh, kind of little notch like a screwdriver would slide down your barrel and you actually adjust the velocity through there. 
So that's how people are like, holy crap, you adjusted. You know, that's uh, that's how the velocity is done on these old school pumps. Uh, it's right down the barrels. You know, so if you're out at the field and you know you go over the chronograph, you know, sh shoot around, you know, pump it back. It loads one in the chamber. You go forward, so it's like an autococker essentially. Pull the trigger, ball fires out. Um, then at that point, there's no ball in the chamber. You slide that down. You feel it lock in, and then you can adjust your velocity on it. So. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's uh, you know that's pretty much the rundown. The Phantoms uh, been around forever. CCI Component Concepts Inc. is what that stands for. Um, probably, you know these guys have been known to make you know some of the best pump equipment in the game. I believe they're still out there putting out uh, stuff. You can search them on the website um, if you're big into pump and whatnot. But uh, so, how old would you say that marker is? This. One, yeah, this one, I mean, I know the Phantoms themselves have been around forever. I mean, one of the original pumps, I mean, 20, 30 years. Again, you know, don't, <laughs> yeah. you know, don't uh, correct me or freak out if I miss a date a little bit. But this gun itself, um, I'm not sure, actually. I know they, they've still been putting out stuff. I'm not sure if this is, like, super, super old, but just the, the Phantoms, the platforms in general. So I just wanted to show this off to you guys, so... Uh, if you guys have any other classic gear, we've highlighted some other people. Uh, put in the comments below. Um, you know, leave a picture if you want to come by one day, shoot a video with some stuff. Uh, that would definitely be awesome. We've had some guests come in here before, so uh, shoot us a message on Facebook, something like that. Leave a comment in there below. So, other than that, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out LoneWolfPaintball.com and our online store. Uh, get your Lone Wolf merch, all the latest gear. Head over to TheJerkyDen.com. Get some of that best uh, best uh, protein in the game. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Yep.